Hey folks, back again in Rocky Mountain National Park. I am just here um, most of the way up Trail Ridge Road. Got to got a very just scenic, incredible drive on this beautiful, clear morning so far. So it's around 8.30. Uh, my plan is to hike up to Ypsilon Mountain um, to the northeast. And so that is going to be around 42, 4,300 feet of elevation gain. Um, maybe a little less, depending. There's a sub peak that I could bag or not, depending if I want to. And 13 to 14 miles, something like that. So we'll see. There's still a fair bit of snow up there. It's still late June. Um, but going to bring the snow gear and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So just to give you a sense of where I'm going, let's see, right there, that little peak right there is going to be the first stop that's Mount Shikita, like the Shikita banana, and then Ypsilon Mountain has got the snow on it up there. So there's snow up there, but the nice thing is the trail sort of follows by the saddles and the ridge there. And it doesn't look like there's that much snow up there, so I'm taking a gamble and just bringing my micro spikes. So <laughs> we'll see if that pays off or if that turns out to be a mistake. <laughs> so because I'm starting from the Alpine Visitor Center in the park, I'm going down the Fall River Road, which actually means I get to go downhill first and get down to this little saddle. But you can see just how deep the snow is. <laughs> even, even in June, even after they've plowed it, massive snow banks. This is probably a spot where the snow gets windswept during winter and then it just piles up like this. So, you know, I spent a lot of time in the mountains, but it still kind of blows me away, <laughs> even in June, that it could be like this. There is a gamble I made by starting relatively late in the morning, and that's the potential for afternoon thunderstorms. But I've been keeping an eye on the forecast the last couple of days, and they're basically calling for 0% chance of rain today until, uh, until about 6 p.m., so by which point I should be out of here. So, of course, the forecast could be wrong. But it looks fantastic now, and I would definitely have time to reevaluate at, uh, at this point, given how clear it is. I'm seeing like a half dozen bull elk so far, and I feel like I'm not even a mile in, so already pretty crazy. The nice thing about going uh, going on this road right now is it's gonna open up in about a week or two to cars. It's a one-way road that goes all the way up to 11,700 feet. Um, it's a dirt road. It's sort of the, the old Trail Ridge Road. Before they made Trail Ridge Road, this was the way that you got up over this pass here down to the west side of the Continental Divide. So, but right now I have been the only hiker on this road, which is not to say that I've had it to myself because a lot of people are uh, gravel biking this road, which looks like a ton of fun. If you could handle the climbing and the elevation on a bike, yeah, definitely something I want to come down here and do on my bucket list. Great, uh, great late June activity in the mountains.
All right, I'm at the first saddle here between uh, Mount Chapin up there, which I'm skipping for the moment. May come back to it, may not. And then Mount Chiquita, which is the next target right there. And so just came up to the saddle and the spectacular view down. You can see Estes Park way down there. So very cool. And then going back on the other side of the west, also pretty spectacular though it's gonna look a little small on the phone but yeah that's further towards the west outside of the park and yeah you can tell it's a tad windy now but honestly it hasn't been wind hasn't been bad at all so far no clouds really still looking like a wonderful day so we will keep onward there was a coming up from uh, back over that way there was a pretty sketchy uh, snowfield on about a 30 degree or so slope that I put my spikes on and had to kick steps very slowly and to uh, get across but thankfully I don't have to go back that same way there's another trail that sort of drops down to where it's uh, not so steep and snow covered that uh, I am definitely going to take on the way back All right, summit of Mount Chiquita. Fortunately, there are no banana trees of any sort growing up here. But at the same time, as far as I'm aware, no Latin American governments have been overthrown at this spot either. So I guess that's a good trade. So the sun is pretty flat here, but there, that rugged one off there, that's Mummy Mountain. Coming all the way down, you can see Estes Park right back there. And the one and only Long's Peak is that tallest one. And then if you go two over to that one, that's Chief's Head Peak. And I was up there just a couple days ago. Around. Just crazy. 360 degree views. spectacular. And lastly, right here is Ypsilon Mountain, so that is the next target and uh, the highest point for the day. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. The trail sort of follows that ridge there. Um, not close to that cornice, thankfully, so there's it's snow-free. Should be almost the entire way. This is why <laughs> you steer very clear of cornices. Cause man, you you fall down that, you step on that sucker, that's instant death. So <laughs> even in June, even in June, still have crazy ice features, snow features like that. Alrighty, summit of Ypsilon Mountain. Spectacular. 360 degree views. The, it was a bit windy coming up here, but the wind is almost totally calm now. Uh, clouds are starting to build a little bit. It doesn't look too bad yet, but just going to keep an eye on it. Yeah, feels great to be up here. 13,400 feet. Wasn't really that bad coming up. I mean, you can sort of see it there. It's, it's rough, it's scree, it's bouldery, but um, honestly not that bad because it's not super steep. So, unlike Chief's Head where I was a couple of days ago, that was a pretty gnarly time to get up. So I figured, what the heck, 
I just refrain from sort of nerding out on all these this geography and mountain stuff because I'm kind of a geography nerd. But hey, this is a pretty central, spectacular location. So yeah, let's go through a couple of things. <laughs> so we got, that's Lawns Peak, of course. That should be familiar. Way down there. It's going to be really small on the camera. Might not even be able to see it, but Gray's and Tory's peaks are down there. Those are the tallest peaks in the front range. And then coming around, right there is Trail Ridge. That's where Trail Ridge Road runs on, as you could probably figure out. Back there, that's the Never Summer Range. That's Mount Richthofen. That's uh, about 12,900 feet. And then continuing north, this is the, uh, oh geez, the Medicine Bow Mountains. Clark Peak is the tallest, also about 12,900. And way off there, just a tiny patch of white. That back there is the snowy range up in Wyoming. Again, probably have a hard time seeing it on the phone camera, but. And then Ypsilon Mountain, of course. That over there is Fairchild Mountain. And then Hague's Peak is kind of behind it, just a tad taller, Mummy Mountain. And finally, down you can see towards Estes Park and the uh, Front Range Urban Corridor. And, well, last but not least, again, very tiny, but sort of between in there is the uh, the Boulder foothills, the, the peaks that right, rise right above Boulder in pretty spectacular fashion. So, again, crazy view, just incredible all the way around. I have had very few views that are this spectacular in my life. <laughs> So I'm starting to head down now. Oops. <laughs> Post holing. Again, a little bit uh a little bit um a little bit gambly with the weather. It's a little past 1 p.m. now, so normally not uh the best place to be in the world at that time. But again, like clouds are kind of building, but nothing too threatening, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I'm gonna come down here and just enjoy these views. It's always, it's always so difficult to pull yourself away from a summit, especially on such a, a nice, beautiful day where the visibility is just, you know, crystal, <laughs> just about crystal clear in all directions, and very far. So, yeah. And one last thing I forgot to point out: I started way down there about there that's where the alpine visitor center is i'm not sure if you can see the road probably can but yeah so came quite a ways Finally back on dry trail for a little bit. Okay, finally back on the road after Kind of post -old, but no more of that, thankfully. So just 800 feet more climbing and I'll be back.
Okay, there you be. It's quite strange to, uh, you know, have these beautiful 13,000 peaks all to yourself and just be alone in the wilderness. And then you come back to, uh, you know, where I started and then you realize, oh yeah, I'm in a national park. <laughs> so yeah, definitely peak season full of people um, as one would expect. But as for the hike itself, very pretty. My only minor complaint is the post tolling, but honestly, I've done a lot worse <laughs> in terms of both the boulder hopping and the and the post tolling. So, not all that bad, all things considered, and just beautiful. Very happy to be able to bag those two peaks and just get a great spectacular view. So, now I'm going to head back and enjoy my beautiful drive down Trail Ridge Road as I head back. So. I will see you guys in the next one.